if you have any open subcontract agreements or open purchase orders. So that means you entered into it, the costs haven't come in yet. So you can't forget about it because they will eventually. Um, so it tells you what's still remaining in those line items. Then maybe there's labor that people have charged their time to these, these jobs, but we haven't paid it yet. So it looks at the budget less all of these columns, and it looks at your remaining budget on the far right and says, how are we really doing on this project, knowing the costs that have come in and the costs that have yet to come in. So very, very powerful information there. All right, we also have an over and under billing, or some of you guys know it as a WIP report. So if I go ahead and run this real quick for my current jobs, I'm going to look and see, okay, how many current jobs do I have? Take a minute to pull this one up. All right. So here it's looking at all of our active jobs, our contract, estimated cost of completion, percent complete, and then if you go over to the right a few columns, you're able to see your overbuild and your underbuild. So if you're if you're booking that information on your balance sheet or um, on your balance sheet assets or liabilities, you would be able to just run this and get that information. 